Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be different. It's gonna be a what I eat in a day video. And the reason why I wanted to do this video was because why not? You know, um, as you guys know, I have a lot more time on my hands now. So I decided I would do this video. And I mean, if you guys are interested, then keep on watching. If not, it's cool. My nursing content will still be coming out. But for now, this is the video that you all are getting. Whoops, I put way too much cinnamon. I'm kind of just eyeballing everything and it was a little too much. Don't put so much cinnamon. So I'm gonna put this over here so I can start putting the butter on the pan. And this is the butter that I'm gonna be using. It's a vegan butter. And this is what I have, so I want to make sure I use it because hello, quarantine life, I'm trying to use everything in the fridge. That's it. I don't really need that much butter. Where's my bread? I'm just gonna use... Oops. So I'm just gonna use some wheat bread. I'm gonna put this in here. Voila. Let's go to the stove. All right. Whoa, it's a little soaked. Let's see. Yay! So I'm just gonna do two of these. It's just me. I really am craving some bacon, too. So let's do some bacon. <laughs> Okay, so it looks like this may be ready. And of course, my French toast is cold now, so let's heat that up a little bit. French toast right here. I'm gonna do this. I'm going to add my bacon. Okay, and I'm gonna add some raspberries. So anyways, I'm gonna put a little bit of maple syrup i don't know if you guys can see if it's focused there you go this syrup i'm gonna be putting it on just drizzle right on top of the toast french toast doesn't this just look amazing okay so this is the coffee that i'm gonna be making today and it's just gonna go in my keurig i am so happy i'm finally eating breakfast i feel like it took forever it is 10 o'clock and i'm just about to eat breakfast so let's do that i have not worked out the plan is to work out today i messaged my friend and my cousin and i was like okay you guys i challenge you to at least burn 300 calories because i need the motivation so my cousin said yes i don't know about my friend she keeps saying no oh the bacon's delicious oh my god Mm. I haven't had bacon in so long. Let's try the French toast with the raspberry. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take these two, which is turmeric and then the vitamin C. Okay, it's down. And I don't know how much water I'm going to drink today, but bottle number one. <laughs> and I hope I do finish it. All right, you guys, I really want something sweet. I just finished my workout. So I'm gonna do a protein shake because I didn't have veggies for breakfast. And this is the powder that I love because the whey protein kills me. Like it really makes my stomach feel weird and it like it just, just doesn't feel right, feel bloated with the whey protein. So that's why I like to use pea protein and this is the one I use. I just get it at Target. You could get it at Walmart too, I think. So I'm gonna do a chocolate protein shake. It's freaking good. If not, I'm gonna be so freaking sad. I'm sure it's good. I've made this before. Mm. 
this will be lunch. I still need to drink that one water bottle from earlier and it's already like 1.34 and I already did my workout, which is crazy that I haven't drank any water. So I better chug down another water bottle before I drink my shake. I'm gonna be doing some spaghetti squash. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but I did olive oil, salt, and pepper, and then I'm just gonna bake it in the oven and then I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna make. So I'm gonna do a spaghetti squash casserole. So I'm cutting up some onion so I can, I can cook it with the sausage. Yum! In the oven. I put 375 so it's gonna cook in there. All right, so I'm heating up my pan. And while the squash is cooking in the oven, I'm just gonna prepare my sausage. So, some olive oil. Add some spinach to the what is it called? Sausage. Oh my god. I'm like, what is it called? Whoa. There you go. So there's the spinach. Just so we have some extra green. Okay, you guys. So I'm gonna eat a snack now. It is 4:30, and I'm still waiting for the spaghetti squash to bake in the oven. I haven't um, assembled the casserole yet, but I'm gonna put some tahini because hello, we all love tahini. Well, I love tahini. So I'm gonna eat this. So I'm also on my third bottle of water, which I still continue to drink. This is actually like a huge motivation to be able to film this because I remember that I need to drink water. Okay, you guys, so I just took it out of the oven. It was actually upside down, but I just turned it over <laughs> when I remembered I was filming. So I'm going to take out the squash. Look at that. Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. The squash. And then for now, just put it in here so that I can take out the liquid from this dish and use it for the bake. So I actually did strain the spaghetti squash because it had so much liquid and I don't want it to be all mushy. So I did strain it. I'm gonna put the spaghetti squash in here. And kind of spread it a little bit. I'm gonna do garlic and onion powder. So, cause I heard like spaghetti squash is usually it could be a little sweet, and I don't want it to be sweet. I want it to be flavorful. You know what I mean? It's gonna be delicious. It better be. I'm gonna put the sausage in here. Oh, it smells divine. Okay, so obviously, this can does have some sugar, but the point is to limit carbs. I'm not doing like a keto but this will help, so let's pour a little bit of this in. And I'm only gonna pour in a little bit. Let me make sure this has got all in there. Oh, I gotta put some mozzarella. Mozzarella cheese. Ooh, this is gonna be delicious. I have a feeling it's gonna be amazing. I'm gonna be all domestic once we're done with quarantine. Okay, so I'm gonna add some ricotta cheese and then I'll top it again with more mozzarella. So it's going in the oven. All right, you guys, so here it is. I just took it out of the oven. I put it in there for like 40 minutes, no, like 38 minutes. It's nice and bubbly. Oh my God, I am so excited to eat this. I am about to try my dinner. You guys can't see. Oh my God. You guys, it is so good. So cheesy. Oh my god. Mm. I've only made spaghetti squash like one other time and it was not good. But that time I had it like plain. It was not good at all. But this time if you put like a bunch of seasonings and the meat, ricotta cheese, it is amazing. Anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that at least inspired you a little bit to come up with a recipe on your own. Um, because I didn't really put down like the exact measurements because I don't really measure anything, kind of just, I don't know, wing it. 
but anyways let me know down in the comments what you guys have been cooking at home during this quarantine and yeah i'll see you on the next one bye